And welcome back to more of Zelda's butt. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, good thing we get to start right in the area. Pretty much I think every area you go to, you, you can actually start in it, so you don't have to really backtrack any. I still might as well start exploring this place. Yeah, I got the little slugs with shells now. And those are your... It's actually your Zolt trebles. Now the map's gonna look kind of weird, but... Essentially it's gonna pretty much fill up this entire grid. But it's an open field, so it's nothing too tricky. Yeah, we quite can't quite get that piece of heart yet, so we'll be getting just a little bit. I'm not gonna bother paying for this info, I'll probably just put it in the comments. Now uh, I think, if I remember, uh, one of the, one of these talks about, um, you know, basically if you just go up a screen you're gonna get a ladder. Uh, another one is regarding a sword upgrade, and the other one is, um, is regarding those black crystal orbs and how to trigger them. At least that's the basic point. So again, if you go right up into this house... Yeah, this little bridge is basically a stepladder. And you're actually gonna need it to... Uh, really progress in this place. And actually, we can pick up this heart piece. And it's actually worth exploring this entire place because you do actually find some goodies. Another piece of heart. It's just sitting there waiting for us to pick it up. Now there's a bit of a riddle to this place. You actually go to the left here. Uh, essentially, what you're going to be entering is a big flower field, and you, you know you know the the space you're trying to get to. You know, so if you actually go left here, uh, you notice it skips you around it, and there is a reason why it's skipping you around this. There's a very good reason why it's just, uh... Kind of skipping spaces there. But again, there is a riddle to this. And actually, if you pay for the info, I think it, I think it actually tells you what to do with that. Uh, it's basically... I think it's like, it's somehow, if you go in a flower field, you just go north. So you do need the step ladder, like, you know, right now. And if you actually follow these signs, it actually kind of points you which way you need to go.
And when you get to this point, you actually wanna... ...start going up. And you're gonna actually end up in... ...this area where if you try to approach from the sides, it actually skips you... ...around this screen. So you can only approach it from below. Requirement to pick up this white sword. Uh, so we'll add that to our collection. And I think you actually need it. I think, as I mentioned before, you don't get sword beans for a, a very long time. the obviously suspicious brown bush there, so we're gonna take a look over here. Luckily you don't have to do a lot of searching there. Good thing we just got the white sword. Doesn't take nearly as many hits to knock out these light lights. And another piece of heart to pick up. like three heart pieces in this place alone. And this is what one of the clues refers to. Uh, you, you need the white sword to trigger this. And if you actually follow this path up the cliff, Just keep following all the arrows. And here you find a, you know, pretty small wallet. Good timing for that. Good to be able to hold more cash. I wish I could get the giant wallet earlier. I mean, you do get it, but it's very late. It's almost at the point where it doesn't really help you that much. going to that hub uh, after we finish exploring this place. Because there's actually quite a bit to explore. Again, the map doesn't really tell you that much. This is actually going to be a full 8x8 grid just because this is, you know, it's in an outside area. I guess not a bad place to 
grind for money. scouting out this entire place. Basically, most of it's just empty field. this screen you notice this weird statue thing there uh, that does become relevant much later on unfortunately you don't get the means for opening that up for a very long time and this one's actually easy to forget because of where it's located so I just make a note to come back here later Take these mold worms out easier. Yeah, you notice the map isn't really that helpful because it misses the whole middle section. Flowers there. Well, nothing there. And that's uh, kind of redundant info because I already found the house. I already got the goods from the place. Very bad place to grind for money if you need some. Because there's not that many places to really get a lot of money. got 8x8 eight eight grids to explore.
Okay, so this time we're gonna just make our way to the upper left corner. Now that one cave that I didn't bother going to yet. Now that you have the white sword, you can actually make this bridge appear. And again, I think you can't even skip the white sword because you actually need to go this way. It takes you to a kind of a whole different section of the old world. Judgy is not going to be the case. And this thing here, we're not going to be able to do anything for, for a good while. Actually, you never really need to go in there, but uh, we're going to be going in there when we actually get the means again there. Top of this cliff, you know, one lone bush. Might as well just, you know, scout it out and see what's here. Gotta be suspicious, there's something there. Okay, going in here, this is how you get to level 3. So yeah, even the, the cave system is going to be used for getting to some of these levels, so it's not just from the overworld. Okay, so next part we'll be going through level 3 and see what we get from this place. Alright, see you guys later.